now that you have taken measurements of the cam going around, you have this. So you've measured the eccentric cam. Now that you've taken measurements of these and hopefully all of the different cams, you have this. So there's a couple, there are about four things you need to do for this assignment. First thing is let's, if you haven't done this already, let's do um, fractions to decimals. And once you start filling these out, um, Computers are really good at finding patterns. So you want to highlight these. Grab this, like I call this the smart corner, this bottom right blue box. Drag it down, and it fills it out for you. The second part of this assignment is completing this right here, the height of the cams. And, and I did um, three of the four, and I'll be honest, I did not do this. I made up some numbers so that you have to do it on your own. Um, and so... The third part is then finding the height of the cam and the followers. You can do this one of two ways. You can go back to here and you can measure from at from like, you know, starting at 0 degrees and then the cam right or the cam plus the follower up here. Or you can set up a formula. So let's say I want this to equal this plus the height of the cam and I'm sorry this plus the height of the follower. So the follower is four inches. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to click on this and I'm going to grab that smart corner and drag it on over all the way to 360 degrees. And you'll notice that, you know, this, if I double click on it, it shows me that this plus four inches and going across. Um, I can do the same thing. So I'm going to make this equal with the pair cam here plus four inches grab that right there, click on it one time to select it, grab that bottom corner, drag to the right, and there we go. And finally, let's do the hex cam. So I'm going to click on this, plus four inches for the follower. Same kind of thing, drag it on over here. All right, again, these dimensions or these measurements are not correct. So make sure you measure them with you and your teammate. All right. The last thing we want to do is create some charts right here of the different cams. So you want to grab all of these measurements, go to chart, insert chart right here, and you're going to want to find a line chart right there. So mine got suggested, maybe yours does too, I'm not sure. Um, so if you find a line chart like that, it's all good. And it shows you, so I'm going to grab this and bring it down here so it's out of my area. A um, couple of, like settings and customize, you know, um, mine comes out pretty nice. And let's kind of zoom in so we can all see it a little bit better. All right, so it says that the red is the pair cam and you can see the height of the pair cam when it comes all the way to the top. You can also see like the hex cam goes up and down. Um, and then finally the eccentric cam does that. Um, I would wait until you have like the snail cam all figured out to then create this so that the snail cam also gets added to it. All right. Now let's make a chart for all of these. If I highlight all of them and I hit insert chart, you'll notice it gives us something that is not correct. And that's because I'm going to delete it. That's because we don't have anything down here. Once we start putting in these numbers down here for the snail cam, um, make sure that you hi highlight all of them. Hit this right here and look at that. It, it gives you the um, proper measurements. But again, make sure that you create the charts after you have the eccentric, the pair, the hex, and the snail all figured out with you and your teammate um, so that creating the charts will make life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. Make sure you turn it in using Google Classroom.